If somebody were monitoring your daily internet traffic, they could potentially see every website you open and read any messages you're sending. But encryption turns your comprehensible stream of information into something that looks like a river of gibberish. Early encryption wasn't as powerful, but the technique was relatively simple. In Roman times, secret messages were written on a piece of fabric wrapped around a stick. To decode the message, the receiver had to wrap the fabric around the same size stick. If you intercepted it and didn't know about the stick, you'd be stuck. A very common type of code is the transposition cipher. This simple code offsets each letter in the alphabet from its original character by an agreed upon number. So, if the code was three and the message was hello, the letters would shift over three spaces in the alphabet and the encrypted version would read as core. But today's encryption is harder to crack because the keys are more complicated than a simple stick or a number. Today's keys use advanced mathematical algorithms, like the factors of two prime numbers, or a complex cipher that turns one bit of data into 64 bits of noise. Encryption isn't foolproof, but the hardest codes can take so long to break, they aren't really worth trying. Sometimes that's enough to protect your info. But the only way to be absolutely certain that your data is 100% secure is to keep it to yourself. Keep it to yourself. Mm. Keep it to yourself. Mm.